Right, okay, I I had a bit of a problem there. Um, basically what happened was my, my camera decided that it had run out of memory and so even though I thought I was videoing, I wasn't. Um, so I need to do a bit quick catch up as to where I am. I've actually now finished rooting um, the back, well, some of the back of the hair. Um, but basically the bits that you missed um, where I'm where I'm going to pick up on um, I did I did I wasn't very happy with the pen that I was using I felt um, it was it, when, when I added water to it, it it went all blurry and started it started uh, dripping down the head with the, with the white and it was going into the hair so I did away with the the white um, pen I did the stripes exactly as I did before with the white pen and I have rooted one, two, three, three or four of the wedges now. Um, the the video is going to pick up on me half route, halfway through rooting this 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 section here, but the bit that I've missed out was how I start rooting. So basically, I get my hair. Uh, the other thing is I've actually changed the colour of the hair since the previous video. Um, I'm now using a darker hair. The reason being the other the lighter hair just wasn't picking up in the in the video at all. So where I'm at in the video, I'm halfway through rooting this bit, um, but what's not obvious is how I start off the wedge. So the wedge is like this. I pick up a wedge, I decide to do one, I start at the bottom of it, um, and then holding the needle in the direction. of the crown, that the centre of the swirl there. So everything always points towards there. I I just get my, my hair at the edge of it and um, put it in into preferably one hair. Um, I don't, as I'm, as I'm gonna be explaining on the next bit, I don't mono root. Mono root is where you literally put in one strand at a time, one tiny strand of that at a time which is incredibly clever incredibly difficult um, and you need the patience of, of a saint uh, and it's absolutely beautiful when it's done but it takes you know literally 100 hours or more because you literally are taking one hair there's one there I don't know if you can see it so you can get it in even closer I don't think I'm even going to be able to show this. Right, so if I was going to mono root, I would literally be pulling out one hair. There's one one hair there. I'm pushing that pushing that one hair in. Oh, where are we? It's gone. There's one hair. I'm pushing that one hair in at a time. Literally. Actually, that's got two hairs on it. Pull one out. Then the next one, in the next place, literally pushing one hair in. Oh dear. Pushing in another hair. Sorry, I'm going to have to switch the phone off, the uh, video off. Sorry, I. Uh, no wonder I get things, things, I keep getting inter interrupted. So to mono root, I'm literally taking one hair out of the, of the thing, of the, the bundle. You can see one hair there, putting it in the right place and then popping it in. And it, it is, it, it, it is worth it. It's beautiful when it's done. I, I just at the moment I don't I've never I've never actually mono rooted a whole baby. I will mono root when I come to the front and to the sides where it shows the most where the actual um uh root shows. Um but generally I I start at the bottom, I work about I put a piece of a hair in about every say two two mil two, three millimetres like that don't always work in a line, I'll perhaps start off in a line but a little bit more random than that and I'm just putting a hair in 
if it if it goes in too thickly if you can see that, that there's too much in there I'll pull it out um, and do it again but generally I micro root not mono root and so as I'm going I'll work at the bottom and I work my way up up and up and up and up and up and up always having the um, the needle in the direction of the crown or the direction I want it, the the, the um, hair to lay with with silicon you have to hold your needle a lot more of a direction a lot more acutely than you do with reborning um, you you if you want it to lie quite lie down quite a bit you literally have to almost lay it almost horizontal and you're you're sort of pushing the hair in along the just underneath the skin there and even then sometimes it pops back up again especially if you're not mono rooting so that's so that's basically what I'm doing and I'm working my way up in in sort of sections coming up coming up 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 and until it fills up so the next bit of the section of the of the um, video picks me up doing this section here and I'm going up here so I'm probably going to be it's going to it's going to seem a bit disjointed but hopefully you get all the information that I I need to give you and I'm I'm really sorry about this but the video um video just was had stopped and I hadn't realized I was switching it on switching it off switching it on switching it off and it wasn't recording so um that's that's what's happened so that's okay I'm, I can't I can't possibly video the whole of the head it would be it would be so boring for you um, but I will show you section so um, this this section I show you and then I'm going to be working on this section and that section off camera and then I'm going to come back on and I'm going to do the sides and the front and the top um, and I'll probably do most of that on camera so I'm just going to go away and do this um, and hope hopefully not get too many more interruptions and then uh, and then I'll be back okay right then here we are I have finished doing uh, the whole of the back of the head I've not cut it or styled it but it's all going in the direction of the um, the crown which is here um, all right hang on I'll just Shut the door so the dog couldn't get in. She's just, she's just, she's just broken her way in. Papa, no, it's outside. So um, now I'm going to um, map out the front and sides of the head. So I'm going to use my gel pen. Those um, chalk markers are great, but n not for me. Right. If you look at a baby's head, um, the hairline at the front, the very fine hair, goes kind of from the from the um, eyebrows like that, and then down. So the main hairline goes sort of up here, but there's there's very fine hair up here. So I'm going to just make a sort of triangle so again on this side from the eye, edge of the eyebrow down to the in, in front of the um, ear and round and then it's going a bit like that and then this part Make sure that even on each each side <laughs> when you look about looking on top of them. So basically, this is going to be very very fine hair. It's going to be that direction like that, and that direction like that. Okay, um, and then this front crown. This this top the top of the head goes round in a kind of circle. Um, not too low here. We don't want a fringe, so it stops about here. It can it, it you probably stops a bit further back, but um, that's just a guide. And then I'm just going to. 
So that's it's all very fine around here and around here. <clears throat> In fact, I'm going to yeah, I'm going to add that to there. So this is going to be a normal a normal wedge of rooting, and this is, and then this is going to be fairly fine and uh, <clears throat> and short. It's it's almost just like eyebrow hair really. That very fine flocking almost. It's more visible on some babies than others. <clears throat> right, so what I'm going to do is first of all I'm going to root this part as I have been doing in a normal manner and this part here. And then I'm going to come back and do the front bit. Okay. So, I get my hair. Right, I did have, I did find my comb, but I've now lost it again. So, I'm going to go and uh, sort myself out and I'll be back in a sec. Right. Okay, so I'm going to be um, starting rooting this again, starting at the bottom, so that you're laying laying layers down on top of each other. I'm going to do this as finely as I can. Because this is this is more visible this part. Unfortunately, I forgot to uh, wipe off the needle before I started working. Anybody who's never done reborning before, when you get a new needle, sometimes you find that it's got some um, residual, like metal dust on it. And when you the first time you you go into a hole, um, it can it can leave behind. Um, A dark bit. And I have stupidly done that, so I'm going to see if I can get. I'm just dubbing it with um, solvent. There we are. Better.
So as we go down, I'm, I'm aiming it again towards, this is the crown here, so I'm aiming it to go so that it's, it's all laying like that. Some of the front ones I may aim backwards so that the hair starts to go back at this point, but um, you can you can decide before you start what sort of hairstyle you want. Um, some people do kind of a, almost like a side parting, which I always think looks a bit odd because I, I've never yet seen a baby with a natural side parting. It's usually it usually comes from the crown because everything comes out from the crown forwards and then back. So if you if you're you know styling the hair, everything comes from this point. So you do it away, 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 and down. I'm going to do the rest of this wedge off camera because it must be boring um, and I'll come back when I get uh, when I've got this wedge done and I'll start the next wedge okay so that section is done the front section not the very the very front bit so what I'm going to do now is do the same thing with this section and um, and then I'll, I'll come back. So basically, I'm going to do the same thing. Start here and do this, this section here. All just the same, same thing. Just the, the direction is the only thing that you're changing as you go along, really. Think about which way you want your hair to go. Do you want it to go forward at this point or do you want it to go back? Um, on this side I've done it kind of sweeping, sweep, sweeping back and then and then forward here. So I've done it, put the needle in that, that way and then gradually change the, the, the angle. But if you're not too sure, just do literally, just do, think right the crown's here, just point it to the crown. And then you'll get you'll get it fairly evenly just all over the all over the head. Okay, so I'm going to do this space here. What I don't know if I mentioned before was a lot of people um, cut their hair in half when they get it, um, so that you you know basically I'm I root in a very wasteful way because um, I I use the whole the whole um, strand obviously you only need half of it but I don't like rooting with little bits of mohair so I I admit I, I accept that I'm going to wait waste quite a bit of it um, and and when I cut it I you know as I say it, it, it ends up quite long um, but I will cut it else people cut it but when you do cut it Make sure you always root from the cut end. So when you do it from the beginning, um, do it from, from this end. This half you do it from this end, and this half you do it from this end. Um, if you do if you root the hair upside down, um, the hair is, is a bit like human hair, if ever you've seen a thing, it's got like scales almost on it, uh, and it goes once one way. Um, if you if you run your finger down mohair it's lovely and soft and smooth and runs down if you get this end and run it up up it and I'm not going to do this it, it's textured and rough so you want it to be nice and soft and smooth after you've rooted it so you root this part and it's and it runs nice and smooth down the down the face if you're not sure if you cut a piece in half and you're not sure which way it goes try doing this and you'll be able to tell which way it goes because it doesn't want to go the other way.
so I'm going to push on with this and um, I'm going to come back when this section's done and show you how I do this front bit here. Sometimes I do it last, sometimes I do it next. I'm going to do it next. Um, as I said before, if, if a piece goes in that's a bit too thick, I uh, just pull out, I just thin it out with the tweezers. Sometimes it pulls the whole piece out and I have to put it back in, but it's better than having a big nasty thick plug near the front of the head. Right. So I'm just going to push on with this. 